before we proceed with the debate, uh, allow me again and uh, indicated earlier on that uh, those who are here earlier and read out the name of the chair of the Public Accounts Committee, he, he too has, through his committee, has done a wonderful job. And just for also for the information, Honorable Andai, you can also inform the country, because I saw somebody who claims to understand uh, in a small way matters the evolution because he has been a governor, but since uh, since uh, taken to the to, to on sab sabbatical, I saw him claiming that the parliament deals with uh, reports which are five years old. Maybe one of you and I, please. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, thank you very much. Uh, I I wish I beg to lay the following paper on the table of the House today, Wednesday. November 27, 2019, report of the Public Accounts Committee on the examination of the financial statements for the, for the national government for the financial year 2016-2017. The speaker, the speaker, as I lay this paper on the table, I just wish to inform uh, the House and by extension the country that this is the third report that the Public Accounts Committee of the Board of Parliament is tabling. And that as I table this report, Mr. Speaker, the committee has embarked on examining the last report that has been submitted to the House by the Auditor General. That is the report for the financial year 2017-2018, which, God willing, we shall be tabling uh, early next year in the next session. Mr. Speaker, my committee is doing very well, and I thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Wandai. You could as well actually give, give notice of the motion so that the doubting Thomases can, uh, can have some little peace. Thank you once again, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I beg to give notice of the following motion. That this House adopts the report of the Public Accounts Committee on its examination of the financial statements for the national government for the financial year 2016-2017, laid on the table of the House on Wednesday, November 27, 2019. Thank you. Yes. Very well, very well Honorable Wandai, and congratulations. I think it's, it's important that some, so some people know that, uh, indeed, you are embarking on the, on the last audit yes. account. Yes. You, have, you have actually said you, you have embarked on consideration of the last audit that accounts, which is the 2017-2018, because for 2018-2019 they have not been submitted. Yeah. Exactly. So anybody out there trying to fault the work of the committee is uh, merely, merely misinformed. Honorable John Bundy. I think you, you, may have, you, you, you may have uh, come with some virus. <laughs> yeah, no, no, Mr. Speaker, where I was, uh, it was purity throughout. Mr. Speaker, uh, where I was, we were really, Kenya was, it's a rebirth to this country. Kenya is born afresh, and you could see the atmosphere, the mood. Mr. Speaker, I think I'll have an opportunity another time uh, to talk about that. But, Mr. Speaker, I know this is a bit unprocedural because we should have waited uh, for the time of debate on this report done by Public Accounts Committee to say all that we wanted to say. But Mr. Speaker, just what you have uh, mentioned about people out there who probably are not up to speed with what Public Accounts Committee in the 12th Parliament has done are the ones who are expressing ignorance by saying that Parliament is late in approving accounts from the Auditor General. Mr. Speaker, I wanted just to take this opportunity as a leader of minority and which chairs the Public Accounts Committee through the Honorable Pio Wandai, that we are very, very proud of the work of the Public Accounts Committee, Mr. Speaker. Allow me to say that because it is not usual. Uh, Mr. Speaker, Abdul Samad is asking me about PIC. Uh, let me see, he see his reports and then I'll be able to make a comment. But Mr. Speaker, honestly speaking, there was a time in this country that we were about six years, seven years uh, in backlog 
with public with the audited accounts now we are talking of only 2017 2018 financial year which have been audited and have not been approved by this house because i know we are going to try before we go for recess to approve the 2016 2017 mr speaker you know when committees do a good job it's also important that we say so because when they don't do a good job we condemn them so i want to congratulate honorable pio and i I can see competence in you, and I hope uh, God will reward you for whatever endeavors you are intending to take. God will reward you because you have shown that competence. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Indeed. Indeed, uh, Honorable Bandi, what you are saying is true. The Public Accounts Committee of the 12th Parliament has indeed performed beyond uh, expectations, and that's why those who only understand uh, history uh, I see you steeped in it, and they don't, do not, uh, they should just follow the proceedings here. And I only hope that um, Mr. Wandai then will move with speed to get this uh, report uh, approved.